New at 10, advocates now say that they have found more horses shot to death in northern Arizona, bringing the total so far to 25. It's happening near the town of Alpine in the Apache Sitgreaves National Forest, northeast of the valley. And the group that's searching for the horses tells Team 12's William Pitts they think there could be more. And we do want to warn you that some of the details of this story are graphic. The first count was 15 dead, then five more that same day. Now, over the weekend, five more, 25 horses, all found shot to death. A lung shot and a head shot, usually. Simona Netherlands is now posting all the Alpine Wild Horses Group's evidence on a Facebook page. Dead horses shot between the eyes, in the neck. It's graphic, it's gory, and Netherlands says necessary to find whoever's doing this. I mean, this person shouldn't be walking around. But those 25 dead horses aren't all. Because of a long-standing fight over whether these horses qualify as wild horses, the Alpine Wild Horses Group has identified 350 out of about 400 horses. And they know there are 25 they can't find. The missing ones, we logged them as missing because we would see like one horse dead out of that band and then we saw one survivor. If they turn up dead, and Netherlands is starting to believe they all will, that will be 50 dead horses in the Apache Sick Graves National Forest. So we have to fight for these horses, and it's literally a battle for their protection so that we can have this piece of our very important Arizona history left. Wild horses have federal protection, but these are considered feral, not wild. That's something horse advocates disagree on. But right now, at most, shooting these horses would be an animal cruelty charge, not a federal one. That's if anyone is even arrested. I'm not that confident, and that's why we're trying so hard to give these horses a voice. There was already a reward for an arrest. They've now crowdfunded even more. And that so far is $10,000, so now the reward to catch the son of a gun is up to $35,000. $35,000 to find whoever did this. William Pitts, 12 News.